Hi guys, my name is Nitin and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the semantic packprixic management plugin for VMware and with vCenter server and the vSphere client. Uh, first off, what you would need is a copy of the installation media. Um, for this demonstration I would be showing how to install this for the 2014 release. Uh, well, I've got the 2014 install media mounted here. And from the 2014 install media, uh, I'm going to make a copy of the VMware management directory to the local C drive. Well, it looks like I've already got a copy here. So uh, you would also need a, a web server in order to get uh, the setup done. So since I do not have a web server in the environment, I'm going to use HFS, uh, which is a free utility available on the internet. What I'm going to do is drag and drop this to a tech tree here and real folder. Right. Once you have that done, uh, on the machine where you have the vSphere client installed, you would want to install this particular file here. You can say next, accept the agreement, next, and install. Um, the other thing that you should be aware of when installing the plugin is uh, ensure that you configure or when performing setup, uh, you give the similar name that you have added on to the backup exec application. Well, if you added the recent server with the IP address, then go and do the whole setup using the IP address. Uh, if you added it using NetBIOS name, uh, follow the setup using the NetBIOS name and uh, vice versa when using the fully qualified domain name. So in this setup, I got my vCenter added up using the IP address. So what I'm going to do is uh, the entire setup would be done using the IP address. So it looks like the plugin has successfully installed now. I'm going to well, now what I'm going to do is uh, install the, well, register the plugin with the vCenter server. So, uh, go to the root directory and, uh, oops, VMA management and, okay. Uh, so we type in register be vm plugin dot exc and add a hyphen r here and a hyphen s followed by the vcenter server name. Keep in mind, as I had mentioned earlier, uh, if you had used the NetBIOS name of the vcenter server, go ahead and give him, give uh, type the NetBIOS name here. Uh, if you had used the IP address on the backup exec console, type in the IP address here. Since I had used the IP address, I'm going to type in the IP address and followed by a hyphen M. And, uh, well, you would need to paste the URL pointing to this guy here. One moment. So that's going to be OK, and hit Enter. It's going to prompt you for a username. Uh, here you, you would want to type in the administrative account uh, that you use on VMware. So uh, I'm going to use the VMware single sign-on account. And it's going to prompt for the password. And go ahead and type in the password. All right. And the registration looks successful. Uh, I'm going to minimize this guy here, minimize that, and launch the vSphere client. Now, this is another thing that you should be aware of. Since we had configured the entire environment using the IP address, uh, configuring using the vCenter, that is the NetBIOS name, would not work out. For example, let me log in here. One moment. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, semantic back of exec. Um, I believe it's three or oh, neck. And the password to your backup exec service account. Alright, so this is what happens if you write a log on with a different uh, configuration. Uh, well, since you had configured the entire thing using the IP address, you would need to log on to the vCenter server using the IP address. Logging in using your fully qualified domain name or the NetBIOS name would not work out in this scenario. Uh, let me go and exit out of this and show you what I mean. Give it a minute, and it should come up any time soon now. Okay, and I'm going to log in here one more time. So, there you go. Uh, and this time everything seems to be populating right now. So. This is how you configure the Backup Exec management plugin for the 2014 release. Uh, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. Uh, if you do not like this video, go ahead and give a thumbs down. Uh, do subscribe and uh, feel free to leave a comment below and I would be happy to answer your questions. Thank you. Next signing off.